guys, got a quick video for you here on how to do some resets on these Cisco phones. These are two Cisco 7940s. Uh, they're pretty old, but uh, they're cheap and good for some home lab use. You can buy them online for dirt cheap. Um, you can see me lifting up this one. It's got a power adapter to it as well, power brick. Typically, they're powered PoE, um, so this isn't your normal setup. But um, if you hit the menu key down there in the lower right of the four keys on the right side, and then you press star star pound star star that is going to initiate a soft reset on this phone you can see the screen went to configuring IP and it will actually switch over to resetting in a moment uh, that is going to be your kind of first effort attempt to reset these you can obviously reset them as well from the web interface of the call manager if you have them configured as SIP phones tied into asterisk or some sort of PBX there's typically a way to control them from there as well you can see this phone on the right does not actually initiate the reset with the uh, menu star star pound star star. Um, this phone on the right is configured as a SIP phone. So the different firmware kind of has some different features to it. I scrolled through the menus and uh, there's more things in there as far as unlocking settings, which is typically just a uh, uh, key press in the menu for the, the skinny image, the SCCP image. So this one's reset in here. Um, I'm going to take you through the hard reset in just a moment. Hard reset is going to be your uh, kind of your last ditch effort to clear the clear all the settings and clear everything out of the phone and let it pull everything fresh. Uh, these phones are notorious for doing kind of some quirky things like uh, trying to pull from multiple VLANs when they haven't found where the voice VLAN is yet, and some other various things that can interrupt the uh, the data connection sometimes as well, especially if you're using layer two security protocols. So. Um, letting this one reset here. I recorded this video separately on a uh, uh, DSLR, so I get a little bit, a um, little bit more solid video connection than uh, with the webcam that seems to like to autofocus a lot. All right, and I'm showing you the hard reset mode here. Go ahead and unplug. If you're running PoE, just unplug the Ethernet cable. I'm unplugging the power brick since I'm not running PoE. Hold down the pound key as you press or as you place the uh, the power back in or the ethernet cable that's powering it it'll start to boot up now on this one you can see on the screen you probably can't see it but it says re reset key sequence detected when that shows up you just press all the keys in sequential order one two three four five six seven eight nine star zero pound it's going to then go ahead and ask you if you want to save the network config or not and it gives you an option to press one or two so i'm going to go ahead and uh, press one and it says factory reset initiated so it's going to go ahead and pull everything fresh right from the uh the pbx or call manager server so this this should clear up any issues that are going on with the phone um and if it had old firmware this is also going to force a fresh pull of firmware i've seen this fix issues with uh network time protocol um same thing works for the uh the phones that are loaded with the sip firmware because this is kind of a pre pre-firmware function uh, built into the phone so it, you can kind of uh, you can kind of associate it with loading you know a live distro before you get into an operating system to to make changes to it um, or entering ROM on mode before you enter into the full iOS so you can see the same thing happen over here reset sequence detected now this is uh, for these older phones they do this for the newer phones uh, 7965s, 45s, anything a little bit newer than these old dinosaurs. Uh, what you're going to see is when you hold down the pound key, the lights are going to flash. Sometimes up on the actual lines, um, since those are um, those are keys that can light up, and uh, it's going to go ahead. And once you press the one through uh, pound key combination, it'll go ahead and reset automatically, so you don't have to press any additional keys. So that's it in a nutshell for a couple of reset methods there for you for trying to clear out any weird issues or update firmware uh, with these Cisco phones. Thanks for watching.